Amid chaos and darkness, people fled for their lives as fear gripped them. In the midst of this turmoil, the son of Mary, Jesus peace be upon him, descended as our savior with Allah's guidance. Muhammad Qasim, with the help of Allah, gathered a small group of Muslims onto a train. A train unlike any we had ever seen. It sped through the darkness with incredible speed. Outside, the world was a dreadful place and only a handful of Muslims managed to board this extraordinary train. But then something unimaginable happened. In this video, I will reveal the horrifying and shocking scene that Muhammad Qasim witnessed during his dreams on the way to meet Jesus, peace be upon him. Out of many dreams, Muhammad Qasim sees some unique dreams that felt like they were related to significant times. Muhammad Qasim says, Between 2003 and 2005, I had quite a few dreams where I encountered beings named Yajuj Majuj, Dajjal, and Isa. In one of these dreams, I found myself leading people on a train journey. Then, I heard a voice of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, urging me to quickly return home because I sensed that Yajuj Majuj might be close. I hurried back to where I had shown the train to the people. Thankfully, Yajuj Majuj hadn't reached us yet. So I want everyone on the train to stay cautious and inside as we were on our way to meet Jesus, peace be upon him. Suddenly, a loud voice echoed from the sky and when I looked up, I saw a man descending from behind some clouds. It became clear they weren't using drones to attack but were descending from the sky themselves. I prayed and threw something at them which destroyed them. This scenario repeated several times and I realized they were jumping from the sky to attack. Yes, they jumped down. Later, I learned more about how they did it. They would leap from the sky, giving us a brief moment to aim and defend ourselves. However, once on the ground, they moved incredibly fast, making it tough to escape their attack. I'd like to connect these experiences to certain Quranic verses. In Surah Baqarah, Ayat 65, Allah transforms people into monkeys as a punishment. And similarly, in Surah Maida, Ayat 60, some were turned into monkeys and pigs as a form of divine retribution. It's possible that Yajuj Majuj, as I've seen in my dreams, were once humans who faced Allah's punishment and transformed into their current states. Allah, O Allah.